Hey everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to be going over the Trade Sniper Indicator, and I've gone over the last two videos. I've gone over it with Crypto. Some good methods with Crypto, and then um, Forex and Gold I've done them in the last video. Today I'm going to be going over how to use it for the stock market. Uh, the strategies for using it for the stock market is a little bit different because... Uh, the other ones, you can set trades and you can hold it for longer, but with the stock market, with the stock market and you're doing like stuff like options, you have an expiration, so you have to, you have to do it a little bit differently. Uh, I try going to maybe the smaller time frames for this, uh, just to get the benefit of the whole week contract, but usually when I do options to begin with, I get in and out. Now, that's personal preference, I, you know... I do the S&P 500 and I just focus on, you know, if I'm in profit or not, from profit I take profit, you know, I don't hold it for a long period of time, but that's just me. Uh, so I'm going to use this strategy, I have a request, to, we're going to be looking, well, we'll look at SPY, maybe some others, and what are we looking at micro strategy as well. Uh, we're going to plug in the trade sniper indicator and kind of... Kind of see how you can get some good results with just looking at the trade sniper overall. And I also want to look at not just doing this with the mindset of doing options, but if you wanted to, if you want to do something like, you know, finding all the moments where something's going up, you, you know, you can, you can make money that way by, you know, finding all the moments when something's going up, per, uh, particularly all the mining stocks, because you could probably make the most with that, uh, you make bigger percentages gains focusing on Bitcoin related stocks. But anyway, let me show you how to work this with the stock market. So to get this indicator, you need to have Trade Sniper. It's available on Patreon. Uh, I'll put the link below if you want to get it. I'm not affiliated with it. Get no commission out of it. But you go here, Trade Sniper. There, it's a two setup process, a tutorial. And once you watch the tutorial, you just give them your uh, trading view ID and they'll hook you up when you go to trading view when you go to trading view it will be listed in your invite only scripts you'll see it on the bottom so once you have it by default it's gonna look like I have mine custom but by default it's gonna look like this this it'll have the MACD with it you really don't need it so take out the MACD and the signal and then you have it with the line and now you can keep it with the line or you can change it up I like to tweak it myself I put in the I put in it with columns it just looks better in my opinion and you're able to put with stocks you're able to see things really clear so let's go through a couple scenarios here with how to use the trade sniper with the stock market. Now I use now I use them when, when I'm trading them. I usually check it on the hour. Uh, so for spy, for example, here what I use is 1348 from my moving average, and I really only use the moving average to see what the overall direction is. So on the hour, we can tell that spy is in an uptrend. So in this scenario, the uptrend is all that we focus on. So the next thing that we need to do is base the decision off of the trade sniper. So if we see it go, if the trend is going up, and this is the same thing if the trend is going down, uh, if the trend is going up, we focus on all the moments where it is green right here. So you focus all the moments where it goes up and it is green, bright green. So those are the moments you enter. Now, you could be in a situation in an uptrend on stocks where it crossed right here, but you you missed your chance on that, that pump right there. You didn't get in right there with the trade sniper. So where do you get in? You focus on all the moments where it goes up. So, you can do this on the hour. Since we know the direction is going up, you just focus on all the moments where it's going up. So, there's another moment right here. You see the trade sniper right here. And you can basically just ride this whole thing out. 
right here. You would enter right here and you would ride it out as long as it's green you're in profit. When it starts getting blue you, it's starting to cool down and it might go the other direction. So this is a good strategy to where you can actually make if you got in right here and you wrote it out one day you would have made 800 and it's a uh, it's a price difference of $8, so you would have made about $850, I believe. But if you want to make like $100 a day, let's just say you're in this scenario where you saw the cross and uh, you kind of want to get in. You can go to a lower time frame. You can go to like the 15 minute. And since you know the trend is going up, you basically wait. You basically wait for every time that it goes up, every time it's green. So you find one here on the 15 minute. Now we only focus on the uptrend because the, the overall direction is going up. So you could come here and get out when it turns blue, when it starts cooling down, and you could get some profit right here. So that's kind of how you do it with SPY. Uh, let's look at some other stocks. Let's look at MicroStrategy. This was requested. So let's look at this first on the hour. Now, micro strategy and a lot of the other stocks, the uh, um, a lot of the, the Bitcoin related stocks, they kind of move with Bitcoin. So whatever Bitcoin's doing, the the, the crypto stocks will kind of behave in the same way. So Bitcoin's going down, a lot of these stocks will go down. If Bitcoin's going down, mining stocks will go down, and same thing like that. So this is kind of, you can tell that MicroStrategy is kind of going sideways right now. The last time there would be any kind of good profit would be right here. But, you, you know, you could have wrote that out. And if you did options with this, it'd be really expensive. So it looks like a bunch of sideways action. So let's kind of look at some other scenarios here. Now we see MicroStrategy. It's a confirmed downtrend right up here. And if we look at Trade Sniper, if we look at Trade Sniper and we want to get in all those moments where it's going down, you could get in right here. If you look at Trade Sniper, you want to get in on the moments where it's going down, like right here. You see it coming down and then it starts cooling off and it starts going back up. So. You can get in and you can scalp little moments. Let's just see how much this would be. Now, doing options with MicroStrategy, the contracts are very, very expensive. There's two different ways you guys can do this. But if, but if you guys want to do options, you could have rode this out and made, I think that's about $5,000. So that's how you do it with options. It's very expensive. You first have to identify the overall trend, which is moving with Bitcoin. So you just look at your trade sniper and when it goes from down to up, as long as it is green, if it's bright green, it's a good time. You just need to confirm that you're in the right direction. So in the scenario here, a micro strategy is pretty expensive to get in contracts. So the other thing that I would probably do is I would focus on all the moments when it goes up. And that's lately hasn't been a while, but you might be able to catch something like right here. You can catch it right here. You can buy some micro strategy and you see it on Trade Sniper it goes to bright green right about here. You can ride it out for however long you want. And this would be about a 14% increase. So that's kind of how you do it with MicroStrategy if you don't want to do options and you can build your way up. Let's look at some other stocks here. Let's look at NVIDIA. Okay, so with NVIDIA here, we can see that the overall trend from the 1348 is, is an uptrend. So that's what you currently focus on is all the uptrends. So if you miss this one right here, you need to go to a lower time frame and find all the little little moments that it's going up. So wait, wait, wait hold on. We are <laughs> wait a second, we were on the 15 right there. Let's hold on. Let's look at the hour. 
Okay, so yeah. On the hour, we, we're in uptrend. We've been in an uptrend for a very long time. So the overall direction of NVIDIA is up. So then you would go to your 15 minute and you would find all those moments where it goes up. So what I do with SPY and whatever stock I'm trying to do options with is once I know the overall trend, I focus on there being a, either a pullback or a pull up. So if the direction is up, I wait for a little pullback and then I wait for the signal on the 15 or the five or whichever way you want to do. But you see it happen right here. You can come in for a quick little 45 minute scalp if you wanted to, right about here, and you can make some profit there. And you can just scalp little moments with option trading. So anyway, that's kind of how you do this strategy with stocks. Uh, it, it, ha it works really well. Uh, if you guys see, if you guys saw my post on YouTube, uh, you'll know that I made some profit for the last three days. If we go here, I'll show you. Okay, so what we can tell from following this strategy here, I've made a total of $167 in, a, in two or three days. I currently have one pending, but uh, currently I've made $167 in two or three days. So anyway, I use the strategy that I'm teaching, and so it works really well. So compared to how my how I started in the beginning, I'm currently down. You know, I started up here. I started learning how to do trading, and then it it, it went against me, and I took a little dip, and now it's starting to go back up again. So. These strategies, these strategies are working really well. They're actually helping. Eventually, I'll get back up to my profit up here, but I am doing pretty good as, as far as options has been going so far. But anyway, that's kind of how you do it with stocks. Now, stocks right now with this strategy is kind of like one of the sources of income that I'm doing. I follow the strategy and it works really well. Now, it may not work for you guys. I may teach it to you guys, but it may work for you guys. Uh, if you, 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 you can watch this video and apply it, but it, it might work and it might not. But I thought I'd just put this out, out there, this strategy. Uh, this strategy with Trade Sniper works really well. Anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you guys in future videos.